Hi guys, Luke Nuke. So today, exciting stuff, the new GeForce Experience uh, Shadow Play software came out uh, with the driver release on 331.65. That's the upgrade from 0.58. Okay, uh, this is what uh, your page will look like after you have downloaded and installed it correctly. Uh, I know a couple of guys are having a bit of trouble with that, so I've done a quick tutorial at the end of this video on just how to get it set up and make it look like this and make your little button appear here. Okay, so what I've got for you guys today is I've done a quick comparison of what I think is the most widely used recording software for gaming um, against the new Shadow Play that GeForce have brought out. So I've done two videos, I've recorded up the same, uh, the same gameplay. Um, and measure the frames per second for you so you can see them side by side so just a quick comparison so you can see how much better or worse shadow play is but um, I could tell you now you know it's it's quite a lot better um, so let's cut straight over to that okay so what I've done for you is I've had to record one of them on my iPhone um, the one that's recording DX Tori that is the bottom right hand corner and the top left hand corner is the one using the new GeForce uh, Shadow Play software and I was able to use Fraps to record the frames per second um, so that's also running Fraps so that's probably taking a little bit of a performance hit as well so just bear that in mind so we've got um, Shadow Play top left DxTory bottom right um, so it's a little bit cloudy I apologize for the you know um, uh, the, the video quality of the bottom right hand one but quite simply with DX Tory I know no other way of recording the frames per second other than actually videoing your TV screen or monitor screen should I say so yeah, hey maybe someone could teach me something but I can't find a way to do that in DX Tory so these are the frames per second now let's just roll it and pause them both at the same place Okay, good. So as you can see, DX Tory bottom right, we've got 114 frames per second, and Shadow Play top left, we've got 123 frames per second. So it's a nine frame per second difference. Um, generally, I've noticed about nine to ten frames per second difference um, throughout this little snippet of gameplay that I've done and all the other tests that I've done. So I'm just going to show you a bit more of the gameplay that I've recorded and stop it in a few more places. Uh, here we've got, it's a little bit cloudy, but we've got 112 versus 121. Okay, and there we have 85 versus 94. Uh, so again, another 9 fr frames per second difference. So yeah, all I'll say is just bear in mind that um, obviously the uh, Shadow Play is probably taking a performance hit as well because I'm running Fraps with it. But as you can see, you're looking at about 9, maybe 10 frames per second difference by using one rather than the other. So in my book, that's pretty good, 10 frames per second. Um, so I know I'll be using it. However, there is a small disadvantage to uh, using it because um, currently... I don't see that it has an option to record the microphone, your own microphone, as well as game sound. So it's only able to record game sound and game footage, but not your own input into the game. Um, I, I may have missed an option for that, so you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but currently I can't see a way to do that. And that's a bit of a hang up, because I know I use that option some of the time. So now on to how to download shadow play okay guys uh, so this is how you download and get to use shadow play from GeForce experience um, it's not quite as simple as it seems I had some bother myself so uh, first thing you need to do open GeForce experience okay <clears throat> now as you can see I've already downloaded it and I have the shadow play button up here and um, this is what I aim to get for you guys as well so, quite simply, um, all you need to do, uh, go to your driver section, <coughs> you want it to end up looking like this, um, and you want to click check for updates, okay? Um, that's not it, once you do that, check for updates, it will find the new update of driver here, 
0.65, uh, I think that was 0.58 before. Uh, so you're looking for the 0.65, and as you can see by the writing here, it contains shadow play, as well as some other stuff that uh, I haven't really got into looking at yet. Okay, so once you downloaded that and uh, installed it, um, or just downloaded it, it installs it for itself. Uh, the next thing you want to do, it doesn't seem to just pop up straight away, or didn't for me. Um, okay, <clears throat> now I had a few problems. Um, it should be on the tab, as you can see, through all the tabs here on the top right hand side but it wasn't for me what I had to do next was hit this refresh button down here when I hit it um, obviously it does does this thing um, when I hit it it kind of stalled and was retrieving data or something for ages and I had to close the whole program down um, I did a restart my computer I don't know if that was necessary then I went back to my driver section and I used the reinstall driver button so I reinstalled the whole thing again only took a few moments um, I always do a custom reinstall so that you can clean out the old drivers. Um, it's just my advice to you. Um, obviously, do whichever you like, do whichever you like. Reinstall the drivers, then go back here and click this button, refresh game. When you hit this game, uh, refresh game list button, you should get in the middle of your screen here a little pop-up window with saying some add-ons. Would you like to install these add-ons? And the first one, I believe, is Shadow uh, Shadow Play and all the other stuff that it comes with. Hit install, click, and it takes a few seconds, and bang, you should get your button. Okay, that's how it's installed. Um, I've searched the internet this morning, and I've been actually struggling with this for a few hours. So, uh, you know, some of you'll be laughing at me, but. You know, if you can't do it, you can't do it, um, and you can't do it, you need someone to show you, and that's how it is done. And finally, the last thing I've got to say about Shadow Play is the really cool feature, the shadow feature um, that it has, I do find is going to be epic. Uh, I'm going to use it loads, um, is the obviously the feature where it's recording, constantly recording the last five or up to 20 minutes gameplay uh, over and over again. Um, so that at any point it's just running using minimum resources in the background um, and at any point if something truly epic happens in your gameplay you can just hit, I believe it's Control F9 I think or F10 I'll have to look that up in a bit um, and it automatically saves the last 5 or 10 minutes of, of what's just happened and you bam you can upload it to YouTube so never again are you going to miss that epic moment when you leap out of the helicopter, blow up the other helicopter with the RPG and get back in the helicopter or whatever, you know, just to quote a famous um, video I saw on YouTube once. But yeah, you know, when that thing happens, when that shit happens to you, you will not lose it if you have this installed. So, you know, shit man, get it. <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, that's it really. Um, I quite like it. Um, like I say, is lacking the feature where you cannot currently uh, record your own uh, mic as well as the game sounds um, so that is a kick in the nuts as far as I'm concerned um, but hopefully that will be added in the future or maybe it's a feature that I just haven't found on it yet so yeah that's my conclusion of it all um, hope this helped um, if it did uh, then you know uh, like my video that would really help me out loads if it didn't help you then you know like just don't bother um, subscriptions or subscribe to me would be cool um, I try to get as much cool stuff out as much helpful stuff and as much cool gameplay out as I can so yeah helps me out loads other than that thanks for watching and I shall see you next time